Next up, Luis Avalos and I play cavemen, inventing our first word in where words come from. And Letterman solves the case of the wigged out lady. And I'm your host for dinner as greedy Gregory grabbing the green grapes. Did you ever wonder where words come from? Why do we call a spoon a spoon? A cup, a cup. The answers are as exciting and as boring as the words themselves. You're about to see, dramatized before your very eyes, the creation of a word. It all took place in a primitive rock-strewn clearing many, many years ago. And so, thanks to early, irritable man, a word was born. The word grouch. Try it on the next nasty, rotten-tempered person you meet. Once there were two grapes. One grape grinned. One grape was grumpy and the grinning grape became a great grape but the grumpy grape dried up into a raisin this is a lovely dinner oh thank you so much my dear but please don't call me lord gregory please call me greg <laughs> hip hip Greg, would you like some grapes? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, dear. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, dear, dear. Oh. Greedy. Oh, greedy Greg. Greedy Greg grabbed. Greedy Greg grabbed the green grapes. Greedy Greg, Greg grabbed, grabbed the green grapes. Greedy Greg, 
Red, grab the green grapes. Greedy Greg, grab the green grapes. Grasshopper. And now it's time for a very short book. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel found a house. The house was made of cookies. Then a witch came and chased them away. Yeah! It was her house. Let them eat their own house! <laughs> Kid, kid, pin. Sit, sit. Lovely color. Yes. 
You know that? That's right, a pig. You eat like a pig. Pig, pig, pig. I've never seen such a pig. I don't see how I can live with a pig like you. I see how you can live with a pig like me. I see very well. Yes, 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 my dear. You have a case of Antrobus of the Pickle. No, no, you'll get better. And Tobus of the Fleco can be cured with a lot of seltzer water. No, don't drink it. Eat it. That's right. Yes. Bite the bubbles. Biting is good for the Fleco and causes the Antrobus to fall off. Yeah. Roll up your pants and sit on the chair. Right. Now, one more thing, Mrs. Girl. Tonight, eat two melons while you're sleeping. What? If you wake up, then stop eating them. Pour a glass of ice water in your left ear. She hung up. I wonder why. My patients don't believe in me, and I was so smart, I skipped medical school. Yeah. Well, what's this? Why don't you ask me to roll up my pant leg? I like your socks. Where'd you get them? They're very nice. Never mind all that. There's something wrong with me. Oh, yes, yes, your nose looked terrible. What happened? Nothing happened. My nose has always looked like that. I'm sorry. Well, what else is wrong? I laugh. Whenever I'm touched, I laugh. Hmm, it sounds like laugh fire. This one may be ticklish here. Put your legs up on the table. Now, son, I'm going to give you the if test. The what? Yes, the if test. It's a very good test. Now, if I touch you here, <laughs> and if I touch you here, <laughs> and if I touch you here, <laughs> hmm. Yes, a definite case of lifeitis with a little bit of giglamia. <laughs> Can you cure it, Doc? Yes, I'm going to give you the if cure. The if cure? Sure. Now, get up and do exactly what I do, okay? <laughs> now, if you put this hand on this spot, okay? And if you put this spot here up like that, okay? And if you put this hand on this spot and turn your head a little bit like that, okay? Now, hold it there. You mean, you mean this is it? This is the if cure? That's right. That's the if cure. And it'll cure you if you stay like that for a week. What? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? You forgot you owe me $40 for the if cure. Well, I'd be happy to pay you, Doc. If I could get to my wallet. The Adventures of Letterman. The Wigged Out Lady. Walking down the city street, our villain, the Spellbinder, has played a prank and changed the W in wig into a P. Mrs. Firth of New York is now walking down the street with a pig on her head. And she's beginning to get some very odd looks. Excuse me, madam, but there's a pig on your head. Wink, wink. Oh, what? A pig. A pig? That's right. Fresh? What's this world coming to? Wink. When from out of a phone booth steps, faster than a rolly nose, stronger than silent E, able to leap capital T in a single bound, it's a word, it's a plan, it's Letterman. He rips the W off his chest and, and puts it over the P and saves the lady any further social embarrassment. Oh, thank you, Letterman. Aw, oh, shucks. What will happen next? Will the spellbinder stop at nothing? Tune into the next chapter of Letterman and see. Wing Chung! Wing Chung! What? Well, hi, how are you? Look out. Can 
I get you something? Uh-uh. Hey, you fellas better clear out. Guess who's back in town? Lulu. Uh-uh. Worse. Billy the Kid? Double worse. Oh, no, you don't mean. Yup. The Silver Sipper. Oh, my God. The Silver Sipper. Why, she'll sip anything she can get her hands on. Y'all hear that, boys? Y'all better watch your drinks. She's back in town. The Silver Sipper. Oh, no, too late. It's a Silver Sipper. <laughs> Howdy, boys. Howdy, Silver. Did you miss me? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Doc Adams. Oh. <sighs> Sip. The Silver Sipper has five seconds to read the next word she sees. Can you read it before she does? Sipper! <laughs> Gallop. Gallop. Hey, Matthew. What say we bunk down right here for the night? Get ourselves some shed eye. That way we can get a fresh start for two sun in the morning. Uh, no, I, I don't think so, Cole. Uh-uh, partner. What's the matter with you, boy? You got something against shut eye? No, I got nothing against shut eye. I want to get some shut eye, too. I just don't want to get it right here. Well, why not right here? Are you kidding? P partner, don't you know? This is the place that's haunted <clears throat> by the galloping saddle. The witching and what? The galloping saddle. Oh. No, listen, I'm kidding. Uh, a couple years ago, a cowboy and his horse come riding, and they rode right into that cactus over there. 
And ever since that night, nobody never seen that cowboy nor that horse ever again. Yeah, and they say that sometimes when the moon is full on a dark night, that sometimes that saddle comes galloping through here and there ain't nobody on top of it, partner, and there ain't nothing underneath of it neither. Matthew, that's just the old tale. Now, you know darn well ain't no saddle can go uh, galloping around without nobody on it and nothing beneath it. Use your head. Yeah, it's kind of silly, ain't it? It sure is. Yeah. Well, let's just <laughs> walk on down and get ourselves that shed out. Oh, whatever you say, partner, I'm ready. I sure is. Oh, partner. yeah. Oh, hey, listen. You hear that? I hear what? Well, like off in the distance, like kind of galloping. Well, concern, Matthew. This is the old west, ain't it? Folks has got to ride to get places. Whoa. Yeah, I keep forgetting that. Now, I lay down. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm ready. <clears throat> Folks has got to ride to get places. Sure it's, it's dumb, I knew that. <clears throat> I read that in the books. Hey. Um, might that hold true for just a saddle? <laughs> um, a galloping saddle. The galloping saddle! Oh, pull your that was, the gallop, Matthew. The, that, Don't you know mm, nothing at mm, all about the desert? Oh, mm, yeah. Plays yeah, tricks deep, on you. Makes you think you're deep, seeing things. Oh, no. Oh, that, shucks, yeah. We've just been riding hard, and our brains is a little scattered, that's all. Leastwise, yours is. <sighs> really? Show. Sure. Come on, now. Get that... Now, Matthew, mm -hmm. that is mm. not really a galloping saddle. Mm -hmm. No, mm. ain't at all. They call them things mirages. Mm. You didn't really see nothing. There is no, I, I, I didn't really see nothing. Nothing whatsoever to be afraid of. There, there's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing mm -hmm. at all. Mm -mm. Matter of fact, since you done woke me up and all, I'm gonna run on over here and get myself a drink of water. Oh, uh, wh wh where is the nearest watering hole? Cleveland. Ah, uh, taxi! Ta uh, he, he, oh. Dizzy.
Well, Millie, it's your first day as a policewoman. What do you suppose will be the first thing you'll have to learn? How to blow my whistle. No, Millie. That was wrong, right? But I would be willing to wager that later on I will get to learn how to blow my whistle. Yeah. That's correct. All yeah, okay. right. Now, first thing you're going to have to learn, Millie, uh, is, uh, well, <clears throat> what would you do if, what, what's the first thing you'd do if you saw two crooks running down the street? Um, I would call a cop. Oh, Millie, you are a cop. Yes, I am a cop. I would call me. No. No. No, no, no. You'd get the crooks to stop. Uh-huh. See? Uh-huh. I see. Well, um, how? Well, you'd blow your whistle. Uh -huh. See? Like that? Yes. And then you'd yell, stop! Oh! Like that. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> how silly of me. <laughs> Try it, Millie. Try it. OK. Yeah. Just a second. What? I do not see one living crook on the street. I cannot do something no, without... No, 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 Millie, Millie. You just pretend that you see the crooks. It, 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 you know, it doesn't matter if there's no crooks. You just pretend you see them. And, and you blow your whistle and you get them to stop. All right, just, hold on. Okay. Watch this. Stop. Yeah, well, well not, not, not quite, Millie. Oh, uh, almost, though, no, huh? Almost. Getting there? Okay. No, uh, like this. Hmm? Stop! Aha! Uh -huh. See, a little masterfulness. Got it. Little pig iron. Yeah, okay, yeah. here we go. No. You don't uh, look certain. Well, see, it, you're close, Millie, but not... Uh, look, look. Stop! Oh. See, you can, uh, now, look. In there. See? I am going to get it right this time. Right. Would you like to bet that I am going to do it so great this time you will faint? I believe in you. All right, here we go. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Stop! Ah, uh, great, Millie. You got the makings of a fine policewoman. I had that feeling. Yeah. You see, I have this... Millie, this... two crooks. Look, running down the street. No, Millie, get him. Blow your whistle. Get him to stop. Hey, you guys! Tune in next time when the mice run up the... company gets its power from the children's television workshop Puppeteer Danny Seagram played Spidey on the electric company. Coming up, Jennifer of the Jungle teaches Paul the Gorilla the ow sound. Also, Jimmy Boyd and Skip Pennant are the Corsican twins. Letterman is having a ball. And Rita Moreno is the frustrated movie director in Is This the Bus Stop?
Positive on switch is an on position. Check. King Fox means that check. Yes, sir. Well, back door. Separation from cleaning. Check. 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 A man barely alive. We can rebuild him. We have permission. We can make him better than he was. Better, stronger, more fun at parties. Steve Austin, the six dollar and thirty nine cent man. Send Oscar in here. General. Uh, now, let me fill you in on the big picture, Oscar. Enemy agents have stolen a map of Grand Rapids. What does that mean? Well, it, it, it could mean that they plan to steal Grand Rapids itself. It fits. Mm -hmm. Now, they must be stopped. We must get that map back. But how? I think I have the answer for you. Send in Steve Awesome. <laughs> Called, Oscar? General, this is Steve Orson, mm. the six dollar and thirty-nine cent man. He looks pretty bionic. He has a bionic body and a bionic brain. And macrobionic eyesight. What does that mean? It means that he can look at a message, take a picture of it with his macrobionic eyes, mm -hmm. and then project that picture in big print on any surface. Well, what's the point in that? Big print is easier to read. We'll give you a demonstration, General. Steve, here are your instructions. Terrific! But how can he follow those instructions if he doesn't know where the foreign agents are? Oh, I'll find them, General. I can also see through walls. Okay, Steve. You have your instructions. Now get to Grand Rapids and get that map. Right, Oscar. At last, the street map of Grand Rapids. Boy, oh boy, is this going to come in handy. I'll say. Now we know right where we can find Bobo's Big Burger uh. and Colonel Cinder's Kentucky Fried Duck. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> something. No, I don't think so. I thought I did. There are the foreign agents, and there's the map of Grand Rapids. Now I take just one more look at my instructions. Grab the, the, grab the, ma, ma. I wonder what that last word is. Let's see, the secret agents are standing on a mat. So that word must be mat. Grab the mat. Grab the mat. <laughs> Steve, you've done it again. You've saved the day. <laughs> All I did was follow your instructions, Oscar. They said... Grab the mat. So I just grabbed the mat. No, 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 Steve. Your instruction said, grab the map. You see, Steve? Grab the map. Right, right. Steve, we spent 39 cents on your bionic brain, and it was worth every penny of it.
pr pr present a present met an ugly frog. The frog said, Kiss me and I'll turn into a prince. The prince said, I'll marry you and take you away. The princess said, No prince can tell me what to do. It's time for your favorite program. The Prowler. The Prowler. Okay. Oh, JJ, aren't you gonna watch? No, I don't think so. Oh. No. As our story begins, the Prowler is silently sneaking through an open window. Please be quiet, JJ. The Prowler steals softly across the room. Mm -hmm. Soundlessly, he removes a painting from the wall and finds a safe. Oh! 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 Jake! Oh. oh! Who are you? A prowler. What? A prowler. You call yourself a prowler? Yeah. Come on, come here. I want you to watch something. I want you to watch a real pro. A who? A pro, an expert, guy who knows what he's ah, doing. Ah, thanks, lady. Silently, nimbly, he leaps from rooftop to rooftop. I don't know. It looks dangerous to me. Hip, hip, hello, anybody. I'm Clayton. I guess you know who you are. 
I'm going to watch The Electric Company. Oh, it's a fun show. It helps me learn to read. And besides, it's raining outside. You guys know what this says? It's what you say when you fall down and hurt yourself. Watch. Hmm? Ow! Mm. Oh. Ow is what it says. That's a word all by its lonesome. But the ow sound is in all kinds of words. You watch for them for a few minutes. Mm. I, I'm going to lie down till I feel better. I, I oh, ow, ow. Jennifer of the jungle. Hi out there. This is an owl sound, a genuine owl sound. And I've been doing some thinking about it. Paul, would you please come here and help me? I would just like you to hold this while I quickly try to set up a little puzzle here that I thought we would work on. A little. After dinner, do a little puzzle here. Now, I know this doesn't look like much, right? I agree with you. What we have here is an O, a T, an N, and a H. But what these sounds do, they help show us how terrific the OW sound is. Like, did you know, Paul, that you can use the OW sound at the beginning of a word, in the middle of a word and at the end of a word? Oh. Yes, you can. Now, what I'd like you to do is take this owl sound, and with these letters, show me where you can use the owl sound at the beginning of a word, OK? At the beginning. At the beginning of a word, OK? You show me. Pick carefully. Think about all of them. Let's see. That's right. The word is owl. Owl with the owl sound at the beginning of the word. Isn't that terrific? Did you see that? OK, now, let's do another one. Here is another owl sound. And show me how you can use this in the middle of a word. In the middle. In the middle. Yes. You've used one thing already. That's all I'll tell you. Oh, boy. That's beautiful. Right. This word is town. Town. With the owl sound in the middle. Isn't Paul doing terrifically well and strong? Okay, now here's one last owl sound. And I want you to show me how to use it at the end of a word. At the very end. Yes. You, you, yes, uh-oh, that wasn't too difficult. Great, the word here is how, how, how do you do it? With the ow sound at the end of the word. Very good, you did very nicely. You used the ow sound at the beginning of a word, as in the word owl, in the middle of a word, as in the word Town, and at the end of a word, as in the word how. One more time. Owl, town, and how. That was very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> what? You want to show me something? Yeah. You don't like that one? You have something else? He does have something else. Look at that. The sound of shh. Right. Shh. What are you going to do? Oh, boy. Aren't you smart? Another word with the owl sound at the end. Chow. Chow. Something to eat. Oh, right. That's very good. Paul. Oh, oh, no. Paul, you know those are bad for your teeth. Oh, you just had dinner. No. Ow! This is the word ow. If you can read the word ow, you can read words like...
cow. And bow. Wow. Bow, wow. Now, how? Yow! Pow! And he says, read the note. Ha, ha, ha! Remember us? The Corsican twins? And the Corsican brothers? You remember. If I hurt myself, he feels it. I'm verse vice. Ow! Miguel! What? That sound you just made. What sound, Ramon? Ow! That's the oh, one. That sound. Yes. What about it? Do you know that you can make words with that sound? You're kidding. Like what? Ha 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 ha. Ow! Now! Ow! How? Ow! Cow! Ow! Bow! Ow! Wow! Mmm! Ow! Now! Ow! 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 Cow! The twins have three seconds to read the next word they see. Can you read it before they do? Vogel, any minute now, the new king of Litke is going to show up here and address these people to be crowned. Do you have the crown? Yes, Minnelli, I have the crown. Yeah, listen, it's the new king we got. Yeah. I understand he ain't quite like other kings. Uh, between you and me, last Vogel, I understand he is a trifle peculiar, shall we say. <laughs> but we'll see soon enough, because here he comes. Prepare the crown. The Crown! <laughs> Presenting King Rupert of Litke! The King is a Clown! The King is a Clown? The king is a clown. They said he was weird, but... Hey, don't let the fact that I'm a clown bother you. Sure, I'm a clown. But isn't it time the people of this town learn to have a little fun? Now, that's fun. Mmm, and it's green, too. The people in this town have too many frowns. Get rid of those frowns. <laughs> the kingdom of Litke will be a terrific, fun place. Yeah! That's more like it. Now give me that crown. It's time to meet the people. Uh, excuse me, Your Majesty, but aren't you supposed to meet the queen over at the royal sock hop? Citizens, I must go, but I shall return. Your Highness, shall I fetch the royal carriage? Please, fetch the royal carriage. Mm, he tastes good. Yes. Here you are. Ha! Ah, onward and upward. The Adventures of Letterman. <laughs> Tonight is the grand ball, and everyone who's anyone is there. 
There's Princess Betty getting out of a Rolls Royce, wearing a blue gown and feeling anything but blue. They didn't invite me. Oh! I'll show them who's who. Oh, no. The evil one is changing the G into CL. And look, the gown has turned into a, a clown. <laughs> Will the princess be a social outcast? Will anyone ask her to dance? What a predicament. Where's our hero? From a nearby stag line he comes. Faster than a rolling O. Stronger than silent E. Shh. Able to leap capital T in a single bound. It's a word. It's a plan. It's Letterman. If I put an R over the L, then she'll have a crown. My hero. My princess. My word. Will you come to the ball with me? Sure. We'll have a ball together. Well, folks, Letterman and the princess are going to the ball. Will they have a good time? Not if I can help it. I love to be evil. Will the villain let Letterman be king for a day? Tune into our next episode and see. Right, Mimsy? It is past midnight, and I am getting very hungry. I want my supper. Let's try for once, please, to... Mimsy. Oh, let's yeah. try for once to get this right. Your line yeah. is, is this the bus stop? Right. Now, are you ready to do I'm that? I'm ready. Marvelous. Roll on, right on the Let's him. Hi. Is this the bus um, terminal? No, no, Mimsy, dear, do you have your contact lenses on? Oh, I always wear them. Good girl, I'll let's get that cue card. Here it is. S-T-O-P. The line that's, is, is this the bus stop? Let's get it right. I am hungry. Hey, Sam, what do you like? I'd like a sandwich myself. We could get a sandwich for you. Well, hello there. Is, is this the bus stop station? I mean, pop. I look, uh, Mimsy, for the last time. Yes, the miss. line is stop. S T O. You did that. Is this the bus stop, Mimsy? Get it? I am starving. Roll on! Could we get? Okay. Well, we'll do it. Action! Is this the bus? Um. Have you heard this one? <laughs> but why me? Oh, I know, I know, I feel the same way. Kill everything. I know. Kill them, honey. I, I, is, is this is the, the, the stop music. Um, short stop. Is this the Tune in next time when we meet the
company gets its power from the Children's Television Workshop. The last two seasons of The Electric Company reran for seven years on PBS. A bold letterman loses his bee. The story of Boris the Boxer is told in song, and Roy the Toy Boy becomes a cowboy. All coming up next. Plus, Morgan Freeman presents the old English play King Howard the Hungry, also known as Peanut Butter and jelly. Today on The Electric Company, the man puts out the...
The Adventures of Letterman. Silver Threads Among the Bold. Well, our Letterman is certainly a bold man. A bold man. We'll just see. I'll take his beat and see how bold he is. <laughs> <laughs> Try that on for size. Oh, my. Now our hero is an old man. Will he get a pension? Will he get Social Security? Will he have a happy old age? Uh, uh, can I help you across the street, old timer? <laughs> I want to see the crash. Well, thank you, youngster. <gasps> He's dropped the bee, and Letterman has picked it up. He was such a nice boy. Well, our hero might be old, but he still knows a thing or two. He's putting the bee in front of old and becoming our bold friend once again. What will our evil one do next? I have put a lot of guys down in my time, but never that far. It's a good thing he was wearing a power of shoot. <laughs> Ding dong, you're fired! <laughs> Problems, boss? Well, let's face it, Roy. Roy the toy boy is just never going to sell. So you know what I did? <sighs> Came up with this bright idea. Hold out your arm. Oh, here, put this on. Yes, sir. Come up with this bright idea. What we'll do is we'll change your image a little bit. Perhaps that will do it. So instead of being Roy the toy boy, we will make you Roy the toy cowboy. How do you like that? 
I like it. I like it, boss. Good. And this looks like our next sale. <clears throat> Excuse me, may I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a birthday present for my son, Troy. Oh, it's a lovely car. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Birthday joy to my boy, Troy. <laughs> oh, how moving. <laughs> oh, thank you. You have no idea how much time and care went into making this card. Yes, and know. now I'm looking for a wonderful toy to go with the wonderful card. Excuse me, madam. Yes. But Roy the toy cowboy is a wonderful toy. Oh, my, aren't you cute? Yes, ma'am. Does he say anything else? Yes, ma'am. Howdy. <laughs> Well, Ma'am? <laughs> Go ahead, Roy. Say something else. Get a load of this. Yippee I O! Ah yay! Y'all? Oh, my son Troy would just love you. Yes, ma'am. Listen, can he do anything else besides talk? What? Yes, ma'am. Roy, the toy cowboy, is the fastest draw in the West. What? Roy, no, no, no! Oh, oh! Wait! Wait a minute! I'm gonna have to call wait, you Roy wait. the Toy Destroyer. Destroy. your order, please. Ah, uh, yeah, let's see. Give me a ham and uh, egg sandwich. You can have a ham sandwich or an egg sandwich. Well, how about a bacon and egg sandwich? You can have a bacon sandwich or an egg sandwich. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, I know. Uh... Salami and egg is out of the question. You can have a salami sandwich or an egg sandwich. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. I know. All right, look, I give up. I'll have an egg sandwich. I thought you'd never ask. Hey, uh, you want some lettuce on that? Jennifer! Of the jungle. Mom? We're all set. Oh. Boy, I just love picnics, don't you? Banana. Would you like to have another banana burger? Oh, oh. Banana. yeah, I know, me too. Well, I guess the picnic's over. <laughs> Oh, you know, we've got a lot of things to do now to clean up. Can I put you in charge of it? Yeah. Oh, I know. I shouldn't have even had to ask. Okay, well, I made a list of things to remember. So I'll get the list, and I'll read them off. And you can do them, okay? All right, be patient. Here is the list, okay? Now, the list says, clear the dishes. And, and, weed the garden, and, and, sweep up. You think you can do that? Okay, now, first thing is, clear the dishes. Hey, huff, ho, huff, ho. Hey, huff, ho, ho, those dishes are cleared. Oh, that's nice. But the sign says, Clear the dishes and weed the garden. So, weed garden. Hey, ho, ho. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, gosh. Woo, wee. Wow. Oh, that garden certainly is weeded. Won't need a weeding for a while, but the sign says weed the garden and. Sweep up. Sweep up. Hey. Oh, no, What a job. Now, you certainly did everything. You've cleared the garden, you've cleared the dishes, 
and weeded the garden and swept up. That's just terrific. I don't, I don't know what to say. You're, except I think I'll find the words. Paul, you're terrific and clever and all. You are gentle and friendly and tall. You're my Paul. Paul, you're a pal, and with you life's a ball. Right through winter and summer and fall. You're my Paul. Who do I always feel fine with? And whom do I frequently dine with? And whom do I swing on my vine with? Volcano and blizzard and squall To be with you through all when I crawl To my Paul With my friend and companion From banyan to banyan I'll swing and give Jennifer's call To my Paul To my Paul to my fault, to my fault. And. 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 All right out there, what's this word? Yell it out, come on, yell it out. Delightful party, isn't it, my dear? Smashing. I say just smashing. Oh, it's a wonderful it's affair. Oh. Yes. Oh, I wonder who's going to arrive now. Senor Bravo la Senora Sir Fitzley Bramwell and Lady Stinkler. Still going out with that big ape? Oh! Count Andrew Gronk and Contessa Leonardo Pum. She's still going out with that big ape? Prince Hugo Z. Shonk and Princess Recessa Pinnacle. Now him, I like. Carmella has five seconds to read the next words she sees. Can you read them before she does? Shoes and socks. Ah! I knew it! Oh, for pity's sake, I knew I'd forgotten something. Ladies and gentlemen, the electric company players are proud to present a new play. King Howard the Hungry. Once upon a time, there was a king who was always hungry. As a matter of fact, he was called King Howard the Hungry. One day, he was feeling particularly hungry. So he called for a royal sandwich. The king was about to thank the royal sandwich makers when he noticed there was nothing on the royal sandwich, just two lousy slices of royal bread. The king quietly expressed his displeasure. Mm. <laughs> the king suggested to the royal sandwich makers that they bring him something to put on the two lousy slices of royal bread.
just to be on the safe side, the royal sandwich makers brought him two things to put on his sandwich. That way, he could choose whichever one he wanted. <laughs> or, <laughs> which would he choose? <laughs> or, <laughs> but King Howard could not for the life of him decide which to put on these two lousy slices of royal bread. <laughs> or, <laughs> So the king decided to summon his royal wise persons. The king asked them, O oh, wise persons, help me decide what I should put on these two lousy pieces of royal bread. Or the first wise person said, Sire! You don't want to use that stuff on your royal sandwich. It's too brown and gooky, and it sticks to the roof of your mouth. Have this instead. Yeah. The second wise person said, You don't want to use that on your royal sandwich. It's too wiggly and sweet. And if it gets on your clothes, you'll never get the stain out. Use this. So poor King Howard still couldn't decide what to have on those two lousy slices of royal bread. <laughs> or... <laughs> Luckily, at that very moment, a little girl happened to be passing through the throne room. Aha, thought the king. Perhaps this little girl can help me decide. <laughs> so he summoned her to him and said, Help me decide. Which should I have on the royal sandwich? And the little girl said, Perhaps this can help you. What is it? asked the king. It's and. My mother gave it to me to help me decide to pick up the laundry and buy some milk. Now the king wondered, how can it help me decide which to put on the royal sandwich? Watch. Why don't you have peanut butter and jelly on those two lousy slices of royal bread? Right! Peanut butter and jelly. Well, the king was so pleased that he invited the little girl to have lunch and dinner with him. So King Howard the Hungry and the little girl went happily off to call the little girl's mother to make sure it was all right for her to have lunch and dinner with the king. And do you know what they had for both lunch and dinner? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> Gonna put my right shoe right on, right on. my left shoe right on. Right on. Put the TV right on. right on. Gonna put the kettle of tea right on. Gonna make a right on the corner of Main Street. Gonna be right on time for the track meet. Got all the answers right on the test I took. I left all my money right on top of that book. I'll go right on. Light, delight, delightful. Henry? Henry? Yeah, what? Henry, are you coming upstairs to 
sleep. Yeah, it's all gang. Okay, I'm coming upstairs to sleep. Henry. Okay. Don't forget to turn off the TV and put out the light. What? Put out the what? The light. Oh, okay. <sighs> turn off the TV. And, and put out the light. Put out the light. Oh, put out the light. The light. Ay, ay, lo que es estar casado. Yo más nunca en mi vida me quiero casar otra vez. Esto es el diablo. Oh, honey. I put out the light. It's okay down here. Good night, honey. Good night, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Yes, sweetheart. You didn't kiss me good night. Oh, yeah. Yo! Daddy, did you fall down? Yes, I did. Did you hurt yourself? No. I'm all right. I'll come and help you. No, no. Stay in bed. Off. Where are you, Daddy? Get off. What? Get off. Oh. <laughs> it's a soft stuff oh. in your belly. Oh. I said get off. Oh, I'm sorry. You yelled at me. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I'm sorry, okay? Okay. Oh, Daddy. What is it this time? You still didn't kiss me goodnight. Light, light, light as the air at the sight, sight, sight of her there, this just might, might, might be my chances tonight, the night we start romance. Would you care to dance? I'd love to. Blight, blight, blight on romance at this height, height, height. I can't dance, I just might, might, might touch her hair. Oh, the plight, the plight of being on air. Wait a minute, I have an idea. next time when the prince tries on the
The electric company gets its power from the children's television workshop. Jimmy Boyd and Morgan Freeman have both appeared in productions of Batman. Jimmy in the Adam West TV series and Morgan in the film Batman Begins. This episode from the last season of the show features me taking a bath with Skip Hinnant, Luis Avalos, and Morgan Freeman. Also, the beautiful Blue Beetle is mistaken for an ugly bug. Plus, the My Mother's Brother song. They put on... Here's cooking at you. With Julia Grown-Up. Well, somebody has to defrost it. I'm... Oh, <laughs> hello out there, all you good people. Yes, all right, David. Yes, you're in the group, too. Now, today, uh, I am going to show you a U. That's right. This is a U. It is one of the finest letters our alphabet has to offer. It, it closely resembles the, the W. Uh, Yes, it, it is a relative of the W. Anyway, you're going to see quite a bit of this U in the next few moments because I'm going to put it in the oven. Yes, this U-shaped thing is actually a U-shaped loaf of bread, and I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it. You see, <clears throat> it is a bake it yourself. <laughs> Bad joke. Another important message for you, pal. Read it and heed it. Jump. 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 Jump? <laughs> Jump. Ha, ha, ha. 
Excuse me, young person. Oh, hi, officer. Pretty day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just wondering. Huh? Who did that? <gasps> oh! Uh, wasn't me, officer. Come on, now. You know what I think? What? I think you did it. <laughs> Bad joke. Rub a dub dub. Oh, rub a dub dub. Uh, oh, uh, rub a dub dub. Um, hi, what you doing? Uh, huh? Oh, rub a dub dub. Hey, remember that? Yeah, well, well that's... Rub-a-dub-dub. Uh, uh, something. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, then... Hey. <laughs> Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. We got that part. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a tub. See? Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a tub. Of course. That's three of us. Of us. Right. What? Who said wrong. that? What's wrong? What, what, what's wrong? Oh, it's down there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Listen, ah. guys, rub a dub dub, four men in a tub, huh? Uh, oh, you're right, you're right, you know. Right. You want to back over a little bit? I think I got the soap. Tug, bug, rug. I like those words. Tug is nice, and rug is nice too, but bug. Oh, bug, I. I, I I'm nuts about bug. I love bug. I think I think apart from hug, bug is my favorite. But hug wins out by one squeeze. Because there's nothing better than a hug. And there's nothing better than hugging a bug, a big bug. I love to hug a bug. Oh, sorry, bug. Here's another riddle. Mm -hmm. OK? Mm -hmm. What has 10 legs, mm -hmm. 10 legs? Mm -hmm and sings. What has 10 legs and sings? OK, we give up. What has 10 legs and sings? Uh -huh. <laughs> the short circus. Oh, oh, quick, quick, run for your lives. It's the ugly bug. The ugly bug? Yeah, the ugly bug. He's headed here right now. The Ooh. ugly bug? Let's hide. Yeah, yeah. Have no fear. The blue beetle is here, and I shall save you poor little children from that ugly bug. Do not panic. I have arrived. The ugly bug! <laughs> you ever have one of those days? beautiful days. Hey, what's the matter? You're not yourself today. Something happened? Nah, nothing. It's just another old day, same as every other day. Oh, boy, you're in some mood, huh? Well, I guess I just got me a bad case of the everydays. What's that? Oh, well, you know, that's when every day is the same as every other old day. I mean, after Monday comes Tuesday. And then after Tuesday, here comes old Wednesday dragging itself in. Then after Wednesday, here comes... Com Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So what else is new? Well, now, you see, when I look at all this Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday stuff, it seems to me I could use myself and on day. <laughs> An on day? What's that? Well, now, that's a day when all you do is nothing. I mean, just a whole mess of just plain nothing. 
Oh, that's a marvelous idea. Hey, come to think of it, I can use an unday once in a while. Listen, Vi, today is not my unday, so I gotta get going. See you later. Okay, sugar. Thanks for dropping in. Now the first thing in the morning, I would unget out of bed. And after I had ungot up enough, I would keep myself unbusy and spend the day instead just on working on a lot of different stuff. I don't think about my troubles while unpaying all my bills. And for moving, I'd be very uninclined. I'd ungo a lot of places and unclimb a lot of hills. And I sure would be unweary in my mind. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ooh, yeah, I smile. If I only had an Monday, one once in a while. Snug. Hug. Snug hug. <laughs> the only way to hug. And now it's time for a very short book. Old Mother Hubbard. Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard. To get her old dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare. So she ordered a pizza. Hey, that's a nice sauce. The end.
thud. Thud. Well, my friend, you'll be happy to know that your conditions have stabilized and I'll be able to discharge uh, you very shortly. Yes, 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 yes. I have a patient for you. Well, for heaven's sake, send it in. Send it in. This way, please. Wait right here. I have another patient coming in. Yes? Well, what seems to be the problem? Well, don't spit, young man. It's the no-no here. Oh, excuse me, Dr. Ward, but that is all he seems to say. Well, I think it's disgusting. Oh, uh, Dr. Ward, what do you think the problem is? I think it's ill mannered. Come, nice person, lie down over here. Yes, over here. Now then, let's have a look, see here. Uh huh. I see the problem. I see the problem. Yes, I see it. Oh, oh, I've got it. Oh, I've doctor. Got it. Oh, Dr. Ward, what is it? Well, it's this large TH that was stuck in his throat oh. that was making him make the sound th. Oh, yes. but of course. If you put the letters T and H together, they make the sound of th. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Well, now, what have you got to say for yourself there, patient person? Thanks. Thanks. Do-da, mm, do-da. Ink. Think. Thanks. Thanks. N. Fin. was a thump. No, then what was it? A thunk. A thunk? Yes, a thunk. Oh, all right, so it was a thunk, not a thump. Go downstairs and see what it is. Mm. Oh. That was no thunk. You didn't hear a thunk? No. Well, then what did you hear? A thud. Yes, dear, that was definitely a thud. Marvin, two men are rolling our piano down the street. Marvin, two mean-looking men are stealing our piano. Go down and stop them. That's it. I've had enough. I'm taking action. What are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I'll show you what I'm doing. Hello? I'd like to order a new piano. Black and white keys. My brother's mother is my mother too. And my other brother's mother is my mother too. And if I had another brother, he could call my mother, mother. But my mother still would be Oh, my brother's mother is my mother too. And 
And my other brother's mother is my mother too. And if I had another brother, he could call my mother mother, but my mother still would be my mother too. Mr. Binton, sir, it is time to awaken and go to work. You are 12 seconds behind schedule and hopelessly late. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. <clears throat> Prepare the pants. Mr. Vinton's pants. Prepare the shirt. Mr. Vinton's shirt. Prepare the shoes. Mr. Vinton's shoes. Mr. Vinton's hat, hat and, and coat. coat. Sir, you are now prepared to go to work. Huh? Oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, wait, fellas, I, I forgot to take my shower. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mr. Mr. Vinton's shower. Oh. 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 Thanks, fellas. That's a lot better. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Harold? Lloyd? I'm an apostrophe S. If your name were Ted, we could own the world. Ted's diner? Ted's Hardware, Ted's TV, Ted's Pizza, Ted's Bookshop, Ted's Drive-In, Ted's Motel, Ted's Electric Company. Hey there, Sidewinder's been waiting for you. Now listen up, because I'm going to be telling you about the old apostrophe S. Now you see them two words up yonder? Yeah, I see him. You see him, Miss Prissy. What do they say? They say Paul's hat. That's right. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, now, it's supposed to mean this here hat, see, that belongs to Paul, see, but it's missing something. Well, you know what it's missing? No, I, I don't. It's missing this here. This here thing is called an apostrophe, see? Now, that does a lots of important stuff in reading. And one of the things it does is tells you what belongs to whom, see? I'll show you what I mean. Hold Apostrophe. It. Yeah, hold that. Back off just a little. Look, look at this. Look at this. There you go, buckaroos. There you go. Now that there is an apostrophe, see? Now them two words say Paul's hat. And you know that that hat belongs to Paul on account right. of the apostrophe. That's right. That's terrific. Yeah, that's, that's, that looks just like uh -oh. this. Oh, well, here's Paul now. Hey, big fella. How you Hi, doing? Paul. I love your new uh -oh. hat, Paul. I, I see you. You preferred a ventilated model. Uh, open air. Oh, oh, Paul. Oh. See you later, loudmouth. This is Mr. Smith Hat. This is Mr. Smith Hat. Smith Hat. I never heard such a name. It sounds Romanian. Wait a minute. Hold your palominos, folks. We've just figured it out. Put an apostrophe S after Smith. That's it. That's it. <laughs> this is Mr. Smith's hat. Couldn't be better. Smith's hat. Couldn't be better. Smith's hat. Now, would somebody tell Mr. Smith that his hat is in the onion dip? The cowboy has five seconds to read the next words he sees. Can you read them before he does? 
calls banana. <laughs> Oh, I really wish I knew what I was doing. Oh, p pardon me, sir. Are you, are you a mechanic? No, I'm a would-be tackler. Of course I'm a mechanic. Why do you think I'm so greasy? Oh, oh uh, do, you, do you fix cars? Oh, do I ever? You got a car that needs fixing? Uh, w wasn't that part of the car? Might have been. What's your problem? Uh, I, I, I just bought a, a car from a friend of mine, and it just doesn't work. I've heard that before. Where's your car? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Here, here it is. It's a beauty, huh? <laughs> well, I, I don't know much about cars, friend, but <laughs> you really don't know much about them. <laughs> Where's my first one? Oh, oh, I see, I see. Tom Carr. Tom. You Tom? Right, right. Uh-huh, I see. Well, well, what's the problem, Tom? I don't know. It just doesn't work. Doesn't work, huh? I see. Tom, God. Tom, you know what I think your problem is this word right here, Tom. Could use an apostrophe S. I just happen to have one. You hold on right here. Well, they, they told me everything was included. I mean, I, I kicked the tires and slammed the doors, and I read the whole manual, and it... it yeah, I it know, should... but you know, every now and then you can go out and buy a car, and there are little hidden things that are missing that you don't really know about right off the bat, and uh, they show up later on, you know what I mean? Now, this little beauty here will do wonders for you. Now, amongst other things, what it'll do is it tells you who owns stuff. You know what I mean? All right, remember we were talking Tom Car. Tom. Yeah, right. All right, now, with this little beauty here, what we have now is Tom's car. See? That, hey, that's me, Tom's car. Right. So, this apostrophe S then tells me who the car belongs to. You got and, it, friend. Hey, oh, that is terrific. Hey, oh, that's great. Hey, listen, what do I owe you? Oh, no, 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 no charge on this one. This, is, oh, this one's on me. Oh, come on now. No, I always like to do a little something for my first customers. I didn't oh, choose it to come back. You just drive safe, hey, okay? Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> And I think that it's Pete. It's Pete Pickle. Pete Pickle. Pete Pickle. Hello, Pete. Is this your pickle? No, that's my pop's pickle. That is my pop's. It's Pete's pop's pickle. Pete's pop's pickle. This pickle is Pete's pop's pickle. Well, Pete's pop, is this your pickle? That's my pal's pickle. That is my pal's. It's Pete's Pop's pal's pickle. It's Pete's Pop's pal's pickle. It's Pete's Pop's pal's pickle. Hello, Pete's Pop's pal. Is this your pickle? No, that's my pet's pickle. That is my pet. It's Pete's Pop's pal's pet pickle. It's Pete's Pop's pal's pet pickle. It's Pete's Pop's. Tune in next time when Robin Hood wins the...
The electric company gets its power from the children's television workshop. The very handsome All the Gorilla was played by Jim Boyd. That's me. Coming up on the next episode, The Mad Professor and Igor, The Adventures of Letterman, and everyone's favorite superhero, Spider-Man. And the electric company, we see the... Experiment I'm going to perform on you. Master, will it make me a better person? Better person? Yes. You're not even a person yet, <laughs> Igor. Thank you, Master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Master. Ink. Yes. Ink. Mm, I can hardly wait. I think mm. it's going to be very interesting. I heard your tongue saying, mmm, ooh. I think I did. Very good, Igor. Very good. You have successfully read part of a word. Yes, sir. Soon, Igor. Soon you will be able to read the whole word. Because today I am going to make you. Think. Think? Yes. Ooh, but how, Master? Why, with my new invention, Igor, my new think tank. <laughs> Get in, Igor. Get in, Master? Get into the think tank. I can take a hint. Well, that's good. Now, now stand very still. Good, good.
Hmm. It appears I've invented a blink tank. are tired from thinking. Uh, unfortunately, you are not thinking, Igor. Ooh. You are blinking. Mm. But, but, but don't worry. This time, I'm certain it will work. <laughs> what makes you? The think tank, you idiot. Sweet talker. Yes. Mm. In a moment, you will be able to think, Igor. Mm. Just think. <laughs> mm. Now, stand ready. Okay. Stand ready. <coughs> hmm. Unless your eyes deceive me. No. This time I've invented a wink tank. Hmm? But we're getting closer. Blink. Blink. Uh, there now. That should give you something to think about. <laughs> what, Mr. The think tank. I gave it a tune. Down you go. There we are. I'll just sit tight there. My heaven, Igor, I've made you shrink. Well, at least I have accomplished something. What, Master? Well, thanks to my new shrink tank, your tiny little body is the same size as your tiny little brain. <laughs> You're a good master, master. Yes, Igor. Yes. The Adventures of Letterman. Small talk. Today, we find our hero packing his trunk for a quick trip. Now, let's see. I need my R and my V. Well, that takes care of all my letters. Now I have that letter man where I want him. All his rotten letters locked in a trunk. <laughs> oh, my. And with that, our evil villain takes his magic wand and changes the TR into J, turning the trunk into junk. Now, my meddling fool, I shall fix you for good. The spellbinder takes his magic wand and changes the J into SHR, turning junk into shrunk. Oh, oh my goodness! Letterman has shrunk! You were too big for your britches anyway. Will our hero spend the rest of his life only five inches high? Will he only be able to use lowercase letters? Will he have to have his entire wardrobe altered? What can he do? Well, our hero may be small, but ah, uh, he still has power. Yeah. Letterman flies up to the letters, faster than a rolling O, stronger than Silent E, Shh. able to leap capital T in a single bound. It's a word. It's a plan. It's Letterman. He takes the S-H-R and flies away with it. Leaving U-N-K, unk. U-N-K, unk. What's that? He flies.
flies back with H, making him the gorgeous hunk of letterman that he was. Uh-oh. Here I come. Help! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Take that. Oh, no! <laughs> he bent my little... Oh, he bent my little wand. Well, folks, it looks like the end of our villain. But is it? Tune in to the next amazing chapter and see. <laughs> comes your friendly neighborhood web slinger. Today, Spidey meets the prankster. Spidey is visiting his friends at PS Eight and a Half, where Mrs. Eckhart's music class is about to perform. What's your request, Spidey? Oh, Jelly Belly. That's on page 49. <laughs> Good question, Spidey. Who is the prankster? Spidey decides to find out and follows his nose to Mr. Thurman's home ec class, where he smells something suspicious. Oh, hi, Spider-Man. We just finished making a chocolate pie. Would you like a piece, Spidey? Chocolate? Mud! This is a mud pie! <laughs> Could it be the same prankster? Spidey's insect sense tells him that the prankster is about to strike again. This time in Mr. Ludkin's secretarial skills class, where a student is about to recite. Now, class, I shall now demonstrate the proper way to answer a phone. First, you wait for the phone to ring. Oh, oh very good. Now, the ringing sound you hear is your signal to pick up the response. Spidey decides to go to Mr. Prescott, the school principal, to warn him about the prankster. He doesn't find Mr. Prescott, but he does discover some very interesting things. A big bottle of glue, the missing chocolate pie filling, and a box of squigglies. Yes, true believers, shocking as it may seem. The principal is the prankster. Where did I put the giraffe and the sneezing powder? <clears throat> Spider-Man! You, you... Well, uh, uh, please, no, please, you don't please understand. Please, no, 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 I don't no, believe no, it. I don't believe you it. I feel don't understand. It, mm, children, I've been principal of PS eight and a half for 13 years now. And every day, you kids play a prank on me, and I just oh. wanted you to see what it was like. 
We understand, Mr. Prescott. We'll let you go this time. Really? Yeah. I just hope you've all learned your lesson and will promise never to play another prank. We, we promise. Okay. Sorry to tie up your day like this. I know you have bookkeeping and things like that. And you now all behave yourselves and don't do that again. Because after all, you're going to do the day. I have a very important day. And so this time, the principal has to stay after school. And things are back to normal at P.S. eight and a half. It looks like Spidey stopped the prankster, but he didn't stop the pranks. A daredevil named Frank jumped from a plank into a large tank with a loud clank. Yuck! What a drink! It makes me blink! Do you know what I think? It's not water. It's ink! And then, with a wink, took another drink and turned slightly pink and began to shrink. The more he drank, the more he shrank. So did the tank. And the screen went blank. Oh, look, there's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Clown. Oh, uh, before I say hello to him, I think there's something you should know. Rudolph doesn't talk with his mouth like you and I. He talks with his nose, okay? Hello, Rudolph. Hi. How are you? Oh, dear. Rudolph says, I am not well. Oh, what's the matter, Rudolph? Oh, you poor thing. Rudolph says, my nose is cold. Well, there certainly is a lot of it to be cold, Rudolph. But don't worry, I have a little present for you. Yeah, look over on the bench there. No? Yeah. The nose warmer. I knitted it myself. <gasps> Rudolph says, You are very nice. Ah, uh, I'm happy to do it, Rudolph. What? You look great, Rudolph. Yeah. Just great! <laughs> bye bye, Rudolph! Close the door. Mm hmm? I said. Close the door. Did you say close the door? Hmm. Close the door. I said close the door. Oh. He said close the door. <laughs> Thanks. Why, well, you're welcome.
Junkers. Junkers are 100% pure junk. Greg, are you eating junkers? What, Mom? I said, are you eating junkers? Yes, Mom. It's pure junk. What, Mom? I said, it's pure junk. Come in here. What, Mom? I said, come in here. You have been eating junk all day. Now why don't you eat a nice apple, nice ear of corn, piece of liver. Don't you want to be strong and brawny like your dad? I'd rather be short and smart like me. That stuff, it's terrible for your health. And think of what it's doing to your teeth. Oh, but Mom, look, it's got nuts. And nuts are supposed to be good for you, right? Right. Quotation marks. What? I said, quotation marks. Oh, you said, quotation marks. That's what I said. That's why there are quotation marks around the words quotation marks. Oh, now they're just quotation marks. Greg has five seconds to read the next word he sees. Can you read it before he does? Junk! I love junk! Oi! Not Mr. Breakstone. Breakstone, as in Breakstone the Magician. Okay, we heard you was looking for assistance. Yes, we want to learn the magic business. Uh, you're hired. <gasps> well, we're going <laughs> just like that? Well, listen, I go on in two minutes, kids, right? So pay attention. Now, look, right here is my famous hat trick. Yeah. Notice there is no bottom into the hat, it's a fake -o. Also, there's a hole in the top of the table. Oh, like this, Mr. Right? Breakstone, that's cheating. Look, kid, do you want to learn the tricks of the trade yes, or we what? We do, we do, yes. Ten okay. seconds, Mr. Breakstone. Who said that? Not Mr. Breakstone, just Breakstone, like that. But, all right, now listen. What you're going to do, kid, you get under the table we here. Get under and any time I call for a prop, you hand it up to me. Uh -huh. We would give it. Right. right, okay, so let's uh -huh. get under there now. Come on under for some <laughs> show business. We are proud to present, direct from a sensational one day stand at PS 49. Breakstone the Magician! Good afternoon, boys and girls, and teachers what couldn't get out of it. Now I would like you to observe closely my regular hat. You notice it has no fake top or artificial bottom or any junky stuff like that. And you must trust me that it is exactly like this hat what is over here on the table. Now today, boys and girls, and teachers what couldn't get out of it, I'm going to take one fresh raw egg and drop it into the hat. Please observe. Ooh. 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 Ah, yes. And we are going to turn 
that raw egg into a boiled egg. Ah, uh, indeed, you may gasp and wonder, yes. It's going to become a boiled egg. I have a go. Oh, uh, hey, 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 Howard, look, what? he wants us to hand him What does he want? This. I don't know. Oh, well, maybe don't... it's this. Oh, what is it, it says coin. Oh, oh, that must be it. You know, Gotta be. magicians always do a coin. Give him one. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Brightstone. <laughs> well, no boiled egg that time, boys and girls. <laughs> Wanted to see if he was paying attention. This time we have a coin, which you can have if you stop that. Aha! And now, fortunately, we have a, a second raw egg that we can change into a boiled egg. Please observe. <laughs> I heard, I, I think he wants something else. I heard an oi. Oh. Uh, I guess we have to wait a moment while the water's boiling in order to get our boiled egg. Oh, <laughs> oi, oi, oh, What's wait that? a minute. Oh, this must be it, look. Is that it? Yeah, oil. Okay, I'll give it to him. No, let me no, I wanna. No, I wanna. You I want oh, oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are the jokes. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Well, I guess we'll have to just see. <laughs> now, fortunately, we have a third and final raw egg to give us one more chance to get a boiled egg. Please observe. Mabjikadabra and Raka Raka. Oh, come on. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, that was oh, oh. going to be my lunch. Oh, you mean. Uh, and uh, through the magic of magic, we have one slightly beat up uh, uh, boiled egg. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Mr. Breakstone. Not Mr. Breakstone, just Breakstone, Breakstone, Breakstone. <laughs> Shouting distance. Shouting distance? Yeah. Well, which way would I shout? West. West. Sit down there. Yeah. Bagley Hotel! Bagley Hotel! Beep! 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 Let's see, um... Busy, busy signal. signal. <laughs> uh. Tune in next time when the man says... company gets its power from the children's television workshop.
During the original run of the show, the full ending credits were only shown on Fridays. 